I want to create a vocoder sound just to show you how simple that it can be to put it together. Logic does have a vocoder built in as one of the virtual instruments. There are two parts to this sound. One is the carrier, which is the audio that we hear, and the other is the modulator. The modulator in this case will be the vocal. Let's listen to our vocal. Do you remember those summer nights? I'm gonna open up the vocoder, new track, software instrument, create. And on this new track, we will get the Evoc 20 vocoder. I'll play a little bit of midis to see if I can actually hear that. It's a synthesizer sound at the moment. I'm going to turn it to the vocoder sound and I won't hear anything because now I'm looking for the modulator signal to come in. I'm gonna to go to my vocal and tell my vocal to no longer go out of the stereo output, but out of bus three. Logic creates an, another aux when you do that. So I actually wanna go into the mixer window and turn off the, uh, the new aux that it created. I'll actually delete that by hitting the delete button and delete that. So now I just have a bus and it's not going to the aux anymore. It's, just uh, waiting to be routed. So bus three is now going to go into the side chain input of the vocoder. There's the side chain input. I will now arm with MIDI and you should see the MIDI data coming in. Maybe not. Yeah, you see the, the MIDI data coming in up here in the custom window. And I'm hitting the note F2. And I'm going to play from bar 9 this vocal. And when I hit the note F2, you'll, you should actually hear something. <laughs> And now um, there are some editing parameters in here. Um, I do have uh, attack and release here so I can make it a shorter type of more percussive sound. I'm gonna shorten the release also. And I'm gonna play a chord this time. <laughs> I have um, the ability to shift the formant, and you can see that the frequencies will actually go up a little bit higher. I'm going to shift the formant down. And I'm going to do a form and stretch. And there are some other cool parameters on this vocoder program. What's primary about this is that I'm using a synthesizer sound that has a lot of harmonics in it so that there's like a crispness to the actual carrier signal. Trying to use a softer sound like a sine tone won't work too well because it won't have as much articulation. This vocoder is in parallel with the vocal itself. Ableton Live, the vocoder is actually on the track and you can create any synthesizer sound and play it into the vocoder. With this vocoder, I'm stuck with this particular synthesizer sound in a pinch, it's a go-to, and I just wanted to show you what it looks like.